Welcome to Mary's World. On today's episode, I'm going to do Lexus. Let's get started. Get ready to warm up. Choose the frequency here. See how many before the time is up. Ready. Go. Milliliter. Semi annual. Miss Bell. If Amir got the high spine, this is going to be his shoulder mat. Unwise. Disappear. Sub zero. Disagree. Multitude. Subway. Insist. Centigrade. Non. I hope how much. Good work. Hmm, I got 12. I thought I got 15. So. Level 15. A journey through China. You read a passage about why some people attempt challenging sports, like ultramarathons. The passage contains these useful words. Achieve. Attempt. Let's look. One highest. We'll do this one. Now, take a closer look at an iguana and its prehistoric ancestor as you explore this diagram on your own. To start, and read the description. Then, choose the labels that pop up for the other parts of the lizard. When you've read about them all, choose this button to go on to the question. This large lizard and ancestor of the iguanas of iguanas that can be found today it had a long tail that helped it to survive. It used its tail to defend against attackers. And also for balance, an iguana uses its tail to in the same way. Both the iguana and its ancestor had five clawed toes on each foot. Most dinosaurs had three toes on each foot. This lizard from long ago most likely used its claws to tear apart its meals. On the other hand, most of their most iguanas alive today use their claws to climb trees and branches. Body. The color of an of ancestor of today's lizards was probably similar to a modern day iguana. It was around 18 feet, feet 5.5 meters in length, and, and weighed more than 1,200 pounds, which is seven, I mean, 575 kilograms. Iguana, unique. Wait a minute. You 
unlike its giant ancestor, an average iguana is 4 feet, 1.2 meters in length, and weighs 15 pounds. Okay, I can't pick up a 4 pound, I can't even pick up a 4 pound weight for a minute. So I guess I can't pick up an iguana. Six point eight kilograms. Okay, what does that mean? Read the question and choose the best answer. Choose the book button to look at. Choose the book button to look back. Find the specific part or detail you need. Then try again. Choose the book button to look back. Reread the question and find the specific part or detail you need. Yeah, the book's average. Choose the book button to look back. Find the specific part or detail you need. Then try again. First door closet. You've read about the iguana and its ancestor, a lizard that lived with the dinosaurs. Read the phrase. Does it describe an iguana, the ancestor of an iguana, or both? Choose the book button to look back. Choose the book button to look back. Find the specific part or detail you need. Then try again. Iguana, a type of lizard, lizard alive today. Tilt of Choose the book button to look back. Find the specific part or detail you need. Then try again. Imagine hunting for a buried treasure every day. That's what wow. you'd be doing if you're a paleontologist, a scientist who studies fossils and bones from long ago. Get ready to meet someone who discovered a fossil of a giant lizard, an ancestor of modern day iguanas. Read along as you listen. Use the white arrows to go on to the next page or go back. When you finish, you'll answer questions about what you've heard. Interview with a treasure hunter. Welcome, Dr. Bolich. Tell us about your trip to South America to look for fossils. I was looking for evidence of animals that lived long ago. I wanted to find fossils or parts of animals hardened into rock. After a few weeks, I still hadn't found anything interesting. So I was getting ready to pack up and head home. What convinced you to stay a little longer? A 10-year-old boy named Mateo had been watching me work almost every day. He told me about something he had found in the desert nearby. What happened on the last day of your trip? Mateo convinced me to take a look at what he had found. 
It was a nearly complete skeleton of a prehistoric lizard. This ancestor of a modern day iguana was as big as a car. Wow, as big as a car. That would, if, if I saw this, if I saw a real prehistoric iguana, then I would just call animal care and they would take care of it. Well, we do eat meat, so they'll just give meat, raw meat, maybe. Wow, then what did you do? We started excavating, or removing, the fossil. First, we used jackhammers to break through the hard rock. We used smaller tools as we got closer to the skeleton. Second, we wrapped the fossil with strips of cloth that were soaked in plaster and left to dry. This wrapping, called a field jacket, protects the fossil. From what? What was the next step in the excavation process? The third step was to move the fossil to a museum to study it. We needed a helicopter to lift this one because it was so heavy. Fourth, we carefully unwrapped the field jacket and cleaned the fossil. We used tools like the ones a dentist uses. Finally, we studied the fossil to learn more about the ancestors of today's lizards. We compared it to other fossils and to animals that are alive today. We learn so much from every fossil. What are the steps for removing and learning from fossils? Choose the book button to look back. Choose this button when you've finished. You've read and heard a lot about fossils and prehistoric lizards, the ancestors of modern-day iguanas. Now, you're going to chat with someone who needs your help. You'll make choices about what to say and do, and then answer questions about your conversation. Read each message, then choose a response and send it. There's no right or wrong. It's your message. Okay. I'm chatting.
Excuse me, I'm chatting, so please don't disturb me. Hmm. 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 Wow! Congratulations! You did a terrific job helping Iggy learn more about his ancestors. Take some time to read your messages from beginning Two to end. Two million when you're years. When you move on to the questions, choose this button. To lift 80 million years, okay? Read the question and choose the best answer. Choose the book button to look back. I want to do this again. To live between living animals and their ancestors. What? I just got three. Have you ever enjoyed a book so much that you felt disappointed when you finished? If that book was part of a series, you could read more. Why? A series is a related set of stories often written by the same author or about the same characters. Check out this new series now. Ready to get serious about series? In the first story of this series, something happens on May's first day at a new school that might just be the start of a series of fun adventures. Wow. I hope she doesn't be very scared. It looks like she's scared. She's frowning. Frown. What a frown. She doesn't even want to go to school. That, that boy and that girl got a little bit scared too. Well, these three guys are 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 all smiling at their desks. At their, at their desks. By Julia Bogdan. We talked about this," said Me's mother as she packed a sparkly lunchbox. "I know you're nervous, but you can do this." Me stared at the bazooey plate in front of her. "I don't want to be new. I don't want to be the new kid. What if no one talks to me?" She pushed the steam. She pushed pushed the steamed bun around her plate. You could always try to talk to them. First, her mother said, swimming as she tried. To reassure. Reassure. Over to reassure. reassure means to make someone feel less worried. Ow. 
Oh, yeah, sure. Everybody who feels, who feels nervous. That girl has a happy face. She's just like a little bit scared. That guy is a little bit scared too. And... I feel, I feel like that girl is just is scared too, but she just doesn't want other people to do it. Okay, where is it? To reassure me. She looked at her watch. Hurry, and eat breakfast. I'm looking at a new kid with a bus to catch. Alright. At school, me shuffled to her desk. Shuffle. To shuffle means to walk with dragging feet. Oh, she shuffled me. Me shuffled to her desk at the back of the classroom. She sat next to a girl. Oh. With two ponytails running down as her back, at, running down her back as me took her say, seat. She looks that like she and a ponytail girl had the same lunchbox. He remembered what her mother had said, but before she could say anything, spelling practice began. Bell ring for lunch, ponytail, ponytail girls, hand rocketed out. Did, does she have some rockets? It, sa it says rocket. So did she get some rockets? And, ha and, and does she have a rocket? And then she lighted it and then she would rocket out of the classroom. Next thing she knew me was shaking hands with a girl named Lisa. I was the newest person in the class until we got here. Whoa, 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 Lisa said cheerfully. I don't know everything yet, but I can show you around. Me was happy and excited to have Lisa as her guide. Together they walked down the hall. They looked at the classroom, decorations, paintings, and science projects. Lisa talked the entire time. Just as me was making a note of where the bathrooms and drinking fountains were, she felt Lisa pull away and say, And we can both try out together. It's M E I, right? Me looked up at the large po at up at the large poster that read Audience for Spring Song. Audition. An audition, audition. is a tryout for a play. Auditions for Spring Song. Next week. Her name was now scribbled at the top of the list. What had he gotten herself into? Look back and find details about the character or characters named in the question. What? A character is who a story is about. Can you find details about the characters that will help you answer the question? Use the highlighted parts of the passage to help you. You may need to scroll down. How do we 
characters, traits, and a plot of story. Oh, yeah. Look back and find details about the character or characters named in the question. How do you know the story is written in third person? There are three characters in the story. The narrator, the narrator uses she and her rather than I and me. What does, how do you know the story is written in third person? Yes. Look back at the details in this story and think about what important message they teach. Many stories have a main message that teaches. The message may not be stated exactly, but you can think about the details all together to figure it out. What important message or idea does this story show? Use the highlighted parts of the passage to help you. You may need to scroll down. Okay, I'll scroll. scroll. Uh, it's this one. Just have one to do this. Yes. Good job! Congratulations! Amir is gonna get this film out, ladies and gentlemen. That for me, Rashid. Congratulations, Amir. Take a look at him, Amir got that Shilaman. Hello everyone, that was Amir Rashid. He got this Shilaman because of his hard work. Thanks, we'll see you on the next episode.